Hello viewers, welcome to another very interesting video. In this video, I will be going to explain the single phasing problem in a three phase motor. Remember, this is a single phasing problem, not a single phase motor. It occurs when one of the three phases on the motor get disconnected or fails. And this single phasing problem is the worst scenario of voltage unbalance on the three phase motor because the motor now continuously run on the two phases instead of three phases and as you can see here there is a vibration and the noise that appears in the motor and I will discuss the reason why it happens later in the video first I will explain what happens when the single phase on occurs on the three phase motor here you can see that during the normal operation all the phases are carrying equal current since the motor is connected in the delta formation the line currents are 10 amperes whereas the phase currents are 5.8 ampere in order to see the relation between the line and the phase currents in delta and star network you can watch my video the link of this video appears on the top right side of your screens now for instance one of the three phases open because of the disconnection of this fuse or maybe this fuse blows so what happens no current will flow in this phase whereas 173% of the normal current will flow in the other two phases and the motor windings are carrying double of the rated current here you can see that one of the windings is carrying 11.6 ampere while the other two are carrying 5.8 ampere and this is a very dangerous situation because all the motor windings and the are carrying excessive current than they are designed for so if we talk about the star network again in the three phase motor if one of the phase fails it will carry no current whereas the other two phases will carry 173 percent and during the single phasing problem the currents in the other two healthy phases can reach up to 240 percent of the rated current depending upon the power factor so you can see here that this is a very dangerous situation now let's talk about the reasons of single phasing first you can easily see that if one of the three fuse blows then it will cause a single phasing on the three phase motor the other reason is in the three pole contactor if one pole is damaged then it may also cause a single phasing problem also the wire break from the feeder to the motor or from the grid to the distribution center and finally if the short circuit happens and it is not bolted then again it will open one phase and cause single phasing at the end i'll discuss the effects of the single phasing if the motor in the stop mode and one of the phase is disconnected then the three phase motor will not start whereas if the motor is in the start mode it will continue to operate on two phases but at the excess of current which is damaging to the windings of the motor because it will continue to rotate the torque with excessive torque produced as a result of the excessive current that flows in the windings and that will cause the motor to burn and as the motor tries to produce excessive torque as a result it will cause vibration and noise in the motor which is also very damaging so in order to avoid the single phasing problem we must install phase failure relays which will sense the phase failure and trip the entire circuit and stop the three phase motor i hope you understand clearly the concept of single phasing problem for more interesting videos stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you for watching